normally bile duct and pancreatic duct join together then they open into the duodenum through an opening called ampulla of waiter there are problems which can involve this ampulla of waiter the common problem is a tumor which arises from this ampulla 90% of time it is usually a a malignant tumor or a cancerous tumor called the cancer of the ampulla of waiter 10% of the time benign tumors can arise from this ampulla these tumors can be a uh, villus adenoma or tubular villus adenoma we call it in medicine these tumors these benign tumors have a potential to turn malignant and these tumors despite being benign since they can turn cancerous later on needs treatment or resection of course cancer of the bile duct requires surgery and the type of surgery is called whipple's pancreatic duodenectomy which is a major surgical procedure the benign tumors traditionally were managed using surgical methods either they they were subjected to whipple's pancreatic duodenectomy or surgical ampullectomy but aggressive endoscopies over a period of last few years developed endoscopic techniques to do endoscopic ampullectomy and which is less morbid and which can avoid major surgical procedures this is a patient who had an ampullary adenoma and initially we had taken a biopsy which confirmed that it is a villus adenoma we also did an eus to see the depth of tumor invasion which was not extending into the bile duct now using the monopolar diathermy the snare we are putting it through the endoscope and you can see the uh, the ampullary tumor has been caught with the help of a snare and we are using monopolar diathermy and the tumor is being resected using endoscopic methods the key for endoscopic uh, treatment is a complete removal is a must and one should do an end block excision we use standard monopolar diathermy snare and the snare should be uh, ideally soft and flexible and you can see we have used the snare and we have used diathermy and next important thing is to quickly retrieve this tumor tissue for histological examination if we take time it can just slip down into deep into duodenum and may not uh, be able to retrieve the tissue for uh, diagnosis small amount of sometimes it, if it is a large ampullary adenoma we may have to do a piecemeal resection that's what we are doing we felt there was small tissue left behind and we are using a snare again and we are removing removing the uh, uh, the residual tumor tissue using snare and uh, this is a piecemeal removal of this uh, ampullary adenoma another important thing to prevent complications is to stent the biliary and pancreatic duct and also we also use coagulation and to ablate the residual tumor tissue this is what we have done for this patient and we you can see the apc being used to ablate the residual tumor tissue now we have identified the bile duct opening you can see the gush of bile and we are cannulating the bile duct and we are leaving a stent for adequate drainage of bile this is followed by cannulation of the pancreatic duct to facilitate easy drainage of pancreatic tissue and both will improve technical success in this of course an endoscopic ampullectomy has to be done in uh, by experts who have done many of these procedures in the past because otherwise this procedure may be associated with complications of bleeding pancreatitis and other complications